Five and only on News 5. Two people want action from police after a man viciously attacked them with a claw hammer, nearly beating them to death. A crime caught on camera. News 5's Emily DeVoe is live in our studio to explain why no one's been arrested, Emily. Roseanne, the attacker, checked himself into a hospital after the incident, which happened on Wednesday, and he's been there ever since. Police can't arrest him until he leaves, and the victims worry he'll get off easy. The exclusive video and pictures you're about to see may be disturbing for some of you to watch. It's hard to watch, but this blurry surveillance video shows the moments Nancy Gibson thought her life was over. He could have killed me if Denny hadn't have been there. He would have killed me. As a bartender at Key West Lounge, she was closing up for the night when one of the bar's regulars walked in. And I said, it's just Jimmy. So sure enough, he came in through the back. We had our backs to him, and uh, we were sitting there laughing and talking. You can see in the top corner of this surveillance video, the man walks up with what Nancy says is a claw hammer and begins swinging over and over again. And he started wailing on Nancy, and that's when he started working on me. He said he hit me and knocked me to the floor. Denny Daniel says he was knocked down with one blow, and when he came to, he thought Nancy was dead. Next thing I knew, I was getting up off the floor, and that's when I walked over there by the front door and seeing Nancy laying there and to be honest with you, I thought she was dead. Blood was coming everywhere and I told Denny it's bad, it's bad. Call 911, we gotta call 911. And I laid down on the floor till they got there. They both received stitches. Nancy has hundreds of them. What's worse, they fear their attacker may get off easy after checking himself into a hospital for treatment. They kicked me out of the hospital, but yeah, he can still lay up there and get treated. You know, food, shower, just laying up. Police say when the man gets out of the hospital, he'll be arrested for at least assault. But for the victims, they say that's just not enough. Well, he was trying to kill me, so I would hope it would be attempted murder. He needs to be put away. I don't know if it's a mental institution or whether it's prison, whatever how, if they evaluate him, whatever how it turns out. Because I'm telling you, he's going to kill somebody. And watching the video, that's something chilling to think about. The man's name is Jimmy Erickson, and he's still in the hospital, so police can't charge him with anything until he's discharged. Live in the studio, Emily DeVoe, News 5. Thanks, Emily.